And finally, it was incredibly slow and clunky and had almost comical basic graphics. But it was a service much loved by millions. Long before text messaging, Twitter, WhatsApp and even email, there was CFAX, the text-based TV service providing pages of news and sports, cooking, weather, much, much more. But after 38 years of broadcasting, it was finally turned off in 2012. Now, however, a group of nostalgic, low-tech lovers are planning to give it a new lease of life. An invention is about to turn the ordinary television set into a device that is able to bring you much more than moving pictures in your own home. In the 1970s, this was considered cutting-edge technology, a way to make our TVs smart long before our phones were. You can have up to 50 different displays of information at the touch of a few buttons. The graphics may seem laughable compared to what we're used to now, but that's apparently part of the charm. I think it's the retro appeal of working in the limitations of uh, an old media. Peter Kwan used to work for Teletext as an engineer. Now he's developed TFAX, a new take on an old classic. You can tell a story or or tell jokes, or, sort of, or wallow in the nostalgia. But the services had their limits. News headlines had to be snappy, restricted to 33 characters, long before the birth of Twitter, and the weather information was patchy too. At its peak, though, Teletext alone had 2.7 million people using it every week. And those who make a living selling retro technology think it could attract a new audience. A lot of people do want to slow down. They want to be able to just sit there, relax, and be able to absorb the information that's in front of them. But now it's all fly by and this now and do this and do that. It's just take it easy. The same can't be said for CFAX, though. Four years in retirement, it seems, was four years too many. Ivor Bennett, News at 10.